The longer I stay a dive instructor, the more I realize how woefully inadequate instructor level training is in this industry. Years ago, I didn't know what parts of the dive instructor education I was missing. Now I do, and I'm gonna share three non scuba agency training courses that every dive instructor should absolutely invest in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see all of your smiling faces. If you haven't done so already, make your next dive on our subscribe button. My goal here is to make videos that make you a better diver, and this video is squarely in that wheelhouse. I believe one of the barriers to improvement for divers in general, and instructors in particular, is that they keep their training blinkered to within the scuba training agency's offered programs. And the big issue there is, no scuba training agency out there provides all the training you need to be a well-rounded diver or scuba instructor. So if you are a diver or a dive instructor watching this, you're already looking to improve yourself outside of the agency framework, which puts you, in my mind, in the top 5% of divers or dive instructors that I know. So congratulations on that. I have gathered three classes here, all of which I've taken, all of which are available online that are not affiliated with any scuba training agency, but that I strongly recommend to all divers and in particular dive instructors. And that also hold tremendous value for anyone in the sport of scuba diving. The total cost for all three classes is under $400. So think about that as an investment. If you're going to the next level of your diver within the agency, whether it's an advanced open water course or a rescue diver course, you can do all three of these courses for less than the cost of that next course. And it's a massive investment in yourself. I have linked all of the classes in the description of this video below. Uh, so let's just dive straight into it. First up is Gareth Locke's Essentials of Human Factors in Diving. You spend a ton of money on dive gear. You buy the best regulators. You get them serviced regularly. You make sure your mask and your wetsuit fit you really well. But the most important piece of dive gear that you own, one that you take with you on every dive and that should last you your lifetime, is sitting right there between your ears, your decision maker, your communicator, your brain. So next time you think about upgrading a piece of dive kit, I would strongly consider investing in an upgrade of your brain. And this is it. Essentials of Human Factors in Diving has improved my decision making. It's improved my situational awareness. It's improved my communication skills. It's improved my leadership and my teamwork skills and has undoubtedly made me a better instructor, which has had the knock-on effect of adding value to my students' learning. We spend so much time working on our practical dive skills, buoyancy, trim, breathing, propulsion, DSMB deployment, whatever it may be. Way too little time working on the human skills of being a diver. Safety systems, effective briefing, debriefing, communications. The essentials of human factors in diving should be as normal a part of diver training as mask remove and replace, particularly at instructor level. I should stress as well that the essentials of human factors in diving is not just for instructors. Any diver will get immense value out of this training, but for instructors I consider this absolutely essential. And the course expands on the topics covered in Gareth Locke's fantastic book, Under Pressure, which if you're a technical diving student of mine, you'll know this is required reading, uh, and, and just elaborates on all the topics featured in that book. Highly, highly recommended. Okay, before we move on to number two, I need to thank today's video sponsor, Dive Right. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I have a very good relationship with Dive Right, and they've been awesome supporters of Divers Ready. Our relationship is based on the fact that we have the same goal, to make better divers. My focus is on education, making these videos, and their focus is on making high quality yet affordable dive gear. On the Miami technical diving side, I can tell you that I've been testing and reviewing a ton of Dive Rights products, and I've recently switched both my personal technical diving rig and my student rental fleet of technical diving gear over to Dive Right regulators and Dive Right wings based on my personal experience of their quality products and awesome responsive customer service. So if you enjoy our content, you can thank Dive Right by supporting their social channels all of which I will link in the video description below. Thanks again to Jared and the entire Dive Right team. You guys rock, I'll see you at DEMA. 
Next up is Tech Clark's Risk Management for Dive Professionals. Tech Clark is a former dive accident investigator. So when things go wrong on a dive, he was the guy they would send in to figure out what went wrong and why. There is no one better to explain the complex world of dive accident mitigation and litigation than tech. This is a huge topic that is woefully undercovered by scuba training agencies. In fact, I'm of the opinion that scuba ag uh, training agencies would probably prefer their instructors were slightly undereducated on this topic of liability, so when accidents happen, the instructor is easier to hang out to dry. But that's just my opinion. Tech's course on risk management will improve your legal safety as a dive professional. I learned a ton from this course. I was one of the early reviewers of this course, uh, especially coming from the UK to the USA, where everything is so much more litigious. I guarantee that when you finish this course, the question you will ask yourself is why was I not given this information in this level of detail when I was doing my dive master course when I was turning professional? And I don't have an answer for you this. The section on reporting standards violations alone will be a massive eye-opener for most dive instructors. Dive instructors, take $30 from your tip money this week. $30, are you kidding me? and invest it in your professional development and liability protection and take this course. And yes, whilst this course is probably has the most value for dive instructors in the United States, the principles and practice of risk management and emergency planning that tech explains during this course applies to every scuba scenario worldwide. Third up has to be my buddy Matthias Lebo and his learn to film underwater. One of the principles I try to encourage dive professionals to consider is to diversify their revenue streams. You've heard me say it many times before on this channel. Agencies would love for you to do nothing but sell their books, sell their e-learning, sell their courses, and be a dive instructor, teach diving every, all day, every day. But look what happened when the pandemic hit and diving went into lockdown. Tons of quality instructors who relied on their instructor teaching pay bounced out of the industry because no teaching, no money. And where were the agencies then? They were busy selling the live the dream philosophy to the next wave of instructors coming through. We made a video in the early days of Divers Ready about diversifying your income, your revenue streams as a dive instructor, which I will link up above there somewhere. One of the tips I talk about was compiling an underwater video library or photo library of stock footage that you can upload to a video hosting site that then makes you money while you sleep. So in other words, companies that come along and they need a four second clip of a beautiful coral reef don't have the facility to send out their own videographer. They go to these stock sites and they buy a license from you and you get a chunk of money from that. But that only works if your videos don't suck. Janky, shaky footage that is uncolor graded will not earn you money. And that is where my good buddy Matthias Lebo comes in. Whether you're using a GoPro or a huge underwater camera rig, Matthias's Learn to Film Underwater course will help you produce professional underwater shots that people would actually pay you cash money to use in their films. Remember how much the quality of my underwater uh, footage has improved since the start of this channel? Let's do a quick compare and contrast. Yep, early days and now. The vast majority of that improvement has come from my friendship with Matthias and me leeching hints and tips and information from him before we shoot our Across the Ocean videos. And, and Divers Ready fam can get 50% off of Matthias's masterclass using code DIVERSREADY at checkout. So now you can benefit as I did and add another source of revenue to your dive instructor game, highly recommended. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and thanks again to Dive Right for sponsoring today's video. Head over to Dive Right via the links in the description below. Send them some love, thank them for supporting our content, tell them that Divers Ready sent you. If you haven't done so already, make your next Dive on our subscribe button, share this video with your buddies and I will see you in the next one. Dive safe, dive often.